This is the world's first electric passenger drone. Ehang, the maker of the Ghost Drone, has produced a manned version of a traditional drone UAV called the Ehang 184. The drone uses eight electric motors to power eight propellers, which can carry one person weighing up to 100 kilograms, which includes any personal luggage such as a briefcase or handbag. After buckling in, the single passenger selects a destination on a touchscreen pad on the console, sort of like a sat-nav system, and the drone flies there automatically. The drone has a battery, allowing for 25 minutes of flight time and has a range of up to 30 to 50 kilometers from a single charge and takes two hours to recharge. It can cruise at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour and has a ceiling height of 11,000 feet above sea level. Similar to hobby drones, the passenger drone can take off, land and fly automatically with a single click. In addition, it includes an automatic safe landing system should one of the propellers or motors fail during flight. The Ehang 184 is an automated passenger drone that requires no license or previous flying experience. The reason for this is, you are not the pilot of the aircraft, you are no more than a passenger in a taxi. Once airborne, the drone will send information of flight path data and live video directly back to a command centre. Everything is operated from this command centre, which sort of looks like NASA mission control, with lots of computers and big screens on the wall, with engineers able to control drones anywhere in the world. The company is in the process of applying for air certificates, which could take some time depending on each country. If not approved for commercial use, the personal drone could be a good fit for search and rescue missions. The Ehang 184 drone won't come cheap. It's expected to cost between $270,000 to $370,000 Australian. It's called the Ehang 184 because it carries one person, has eight propellers and four arms. Sometimes an obvious name is a good name. Ehang has come a long way since the concept was first revealed. The company has gone through many versions of the drone and are constantly perfecting the design and the drone has now flown over 200 test flights, both with and without pilots. This drone taxi may be a techno curiosity for now, but many companies see the benefit of drones, such as Amazon using drones to deliver packages. So it may just be a matter of time before the Ehang 184 is available. But when you consider jetpacks have been in development since the 1960s and we are still waiting on those, I would not hold your breath. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.